Good evening. A warm welcome to Visual Complain. With me, Ian Wiley. The Lord Almighty, grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who has made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you, before the whole company of heaven and one another, that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sin. Heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. And a reading from Psalm 50, the psalm appointed for evening prayer today, with the refrain, Offer to God a sacrifice of thanksgiving. The Lord, the most mighty God, has spoken. He has called the world from the rising of the sun to its setting. Out of Zion, perfect in beauty, God shines forth. Our God comes and will not keep silence. Consuming fire goes before him and a mighty tempest stirs about him. He calls the heaven above and the earth that he may judge his people. Gather to me, my faithful, who have sealed my covenant with sacrifice. Let the heavens declare a righteousness, for God himself is judge. Offer to God a sacrifice of thanksgiving. Hear, O my people, and I will speak. I will testify against you, O Israel, for I am God, your God. I will not reprove you for your sacrifices, for your burnt offerings are always before me. I will take no bull out of your house, nor any he-goat out of your flocks. For all the beasts of the forest are mine, the cattle upon a thousand hills. I know every bird of the mountains, and the insects of the field are mine. If I were hungry, I would not tell you. For the whole world is mine and all that fills it. Do you think I eat the flesh of bulls or drink the blood of goats? Offer to God a sacrifice of thanksgiving and fulfil your vows to God Most High. Call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you and you shall honour me. Offer to God a sacrifice of thanksgiving. But to the wicked, says God, why do you recite my statutes and take your, my covenant upon your lips? Since you refuse to be disciplined and have cast my words behind you, when you saw a thief, you made friends with him and you threw in your lot with adulterers. You have loosed your lips for evil and harness your tongue to deceit. You sit and speak evil of your brother, and slander your own mother's son. These things you have done, and I should keep silence? Did you think that I am even such a one as yourself? But no, I must reprove you, and set before your eyes the things that you have done. You forget God. Consider this well lest I tear you apart and there is none to deliver you. Whoever offers me the sacrifice of thanksgiving honours me, and to those who keep my way will I show the salvation of God. Offer to God a sacrifice of thanksgiving. Mighty God, dwelling in unapproachable light, forgive our vain efforts to appease you, and show us your full salvation 
in Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. And a reading from the Holy Gospel. Jesus said to them, Truly I tell you, the tax collectors and prostitutes are going into the kingdom of heaven ahead of you. For John came to you in the way of righteousness, and you did not believe him. But the tax collectors and the prostitutes believed him, and even after you saw it, you did not change your minds and believe him. Into your hands, O Lords, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Come, O Lord, and visit us in peace, that we may rejoice before you with a perfect heart. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Come, O Lord. And visit us in peace, that we may rejoice before you with a perfect heart. O oh my God, we are a sinful people, led into sin by lies and the sole pursuit of wealth. We willfully destroy this your earth. By a mission and commission we risk the peace of your people, and conflict everywhere is preferred to justice and righteousness. O oh my God, we are a sinful people. In the face of this pandemic, we, the richer countries of the earth, hoard vaccine, PPE and public health resource. Where there is no future, save one for all and all for one. O oh my God, we are a sinful people. O oh Lord Jesus Christ, who at your first coming sent the messenger to prepare the way before you. Grant that the ministers and stewards of your mysteries may likewise so prepare and make ready your way by the turning of the hearts of the disobedient to the wisdom of the just, that at your second coming to judge the world we may be found an acceptable people in your sight. For you are alive and reign with the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace, and may your blessing always be upon us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And in the prayer that Jesus taught us, is life and health and sustenance in darkness. Let us pray together. Our Father who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
for the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. In peace, we will lie down and sleep for you alone, Lord. Make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. Restore us again, O God of hosts. Show us the light of your countenance and we shall be saved. Bless and keep us, this night and always. Amen. So Compline is concluded. Go in peace.